Hey, what is happening peeps? This is your guy here again with another episode, so without blabbering on too much, let's just get to it. Now, before I begin this episode, I would highly recommend to, yeah, I would highly recommend you guys <laughs> I would highly recommend you guys to go back to Firelink Shrine and get your SS Flask upgraded to plus five. But I did not do that because we are running Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Because we are running short on time. So anyways, now we're gonna continue with where we left off in the previous episode so okay now what we are going to do is we're gonna come over here pull this lever on down back not down to unlock where we have to go now just below the staircase is going to be a hollow soldier and a chest that we have to grab and in the chest is going to be prism stones what why oh yeah right we already have like 99 of those so i think it's an inventory issue uh if you guys remember we purchased 99 prism stones from the sewer merchant lady so if you did not purchase it there you have it 20 prism stones so anyways we're gonna come over here and disturb uh not disturb <laughs> disperse this fog wall and then we are gonna head on down it's actually a good idea to equip back to my Grass Crest Shield. Okay, you wanna die? Sure, you can. And then, just as we get off of the ladders, we're gonna come over here, make a right to kill another golem. There we go. And then keep heading on straight to kill another golem and grab a chunk. There it is. And then we are gonna kill that orange colored golem. Now if you guys remember, we freed Dusk after killing that golem. And they are pretty strong. And this one is going to be even stronger. So with that kept in mind, let's just... Oh my god, look at that stamina damage. Now imagine if that hit. See, I was not kidding when I said that he'll hit really hard. How did that connect? And he will drop Sigland. So we are gonna tell her where her father is. And then she is gonna go back to Firelink Shrine. Okay, her quest is kind of done. Now we're gonna come over here to grab... Wait, what? My piece is acting up. So anyways, we're gonna come over here to grab the Crystal Armor. There it is. And after that, we are gonna head on down to where the crystal cave is. Do not worry about these golems. You can kill them if you want souls, but I'm not going to bother with them because I'm low on time. Wait, where is the way? Where is the way? Oh no. Oh yeah, there it is. Anyways, come over here. Now there is going to be another golem and this area is going to be really tricky and I'll show you in a moment why. The reason is because of what you guys see right in front of you. This. This. See? These are invisible paths that no one can see. So yeah, you're supposed to carefully go through all this and avoid death. You're really gonna follow me down, huh? So okay. The game decided to put this marker here to let us know that this is an invisible path and you can walk on it even though it looks like you'll die. 
so yeah that is what's up so instead what we are gonna do right over here is we're gonna take out that gold colored column because we have upgraded our dragon slayer claws uh, not claws but crossbow so let's equip that and kill that shitter shitter just 85 Come on, aren't you supposed to be a dragon slayer, great bow? Oh my god. At least aggro on me, bro. Actually, you know what? Let me just... Get till here. Oh yeah, he saw us. And now he'll come to us. Now carefully walk back. You can use your prism stones for this purpose, but I suggest you guys not to yet because there's actually a massive area where we are going to be using all of our, uh, what, what are they called, uh, prism stones. Yeah. Spam that shit at me, bro. Come on, do something. No? Just as I finally decided to make a move, you decided to... Actually, you know what? I'm not dealing... You're too unpredictable, bruv. And now you're dead. Bye-bye. <coughs> so, okay. The trick to cross this invisible path is just aim for that corner right over there. And, if you guys can see... There are these snowflakes that are falling down or crystal particles. I don't know what they are. Just notice them. If they are falling on, on some sort of surface, that implies that there is something down below us. Yeah. To keep that with that cap. Oh! Oh! I did not mean to do that. Yeah. There we go. Now we are going to make our way here. And just down below us are going to be three crystal lizards. So equip something that will hit like a that will swing from top to bottom. I'm gonna go with my claymore. And if you guys can see there are moonlight butterflies as well. But the thing is, if you do not disturb them, they won't cause you any trouble. So they are just better left alone. And down below us is another crystal uh, sorry, invisible path. So how to know the exact spot where it is is just equip your prism stones, throw on one down. If it falls on something, that means that there is something. Turn back. Oh no, I did not mean to. Oh my fucking god, I just ruined my life. Anyways, you know where the lizards are. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to get them again. But first, let me just make a breadcrumb trail. And then we're gonna quit the game to reload all of those little shitters well at least I got one so anyways now let's just fast forward it I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to make a breadcrumb trail which I'm gonna be following to that item right in front of us so yeah I'm gonna fast forward it by the way from here on out See, this is what happens if there is nothing, if there is no invisible path. So I'm just going to turn to my right and start doing the same tactic over again.
All right, so now we can follow this trail all the way back to where we came from. And that is exactly what we are going to do. So, okay, let me just fast forward it from here on out. And oh my god, look at that, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So okay from here I'm gonna actually quit out of the game because I know the path is straight and I know that the lizards are there as well so yeah let me just do that real quick. If you are not sure where the lizards are and where the path is. No you don't. Anyways I missed them again. So okay as soon as we reach here we are gonna kill that. Uh, gold color golem which is just down below us so equip your great bow actually you know what can i do pyromancy on him i don't think i can do not whatever you do do not try to fight him on this narrow path just which is down below us because it's gonna be like really cumbersome uh how can i kill you how can i kill you I used to do a plunge attack on him, which had a lower chance of working out. But anyways, let me see. Or we can just make a run from... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just show you my basic technique that I always use. Grab the item. Heal on up. Yo! Not cool. And as soon as you reach here... We are going to make a run for that corner right over there. Oh wow, see, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, this can happen. This can really happen. This can really, really, really happen. Ah, so okay. I'm going to fast forward, fast forward and uh, everything. Like, I'm out of words. I don't even know how to say and what to say anymore. So yeah, I'm going to just fast forward it
all right i at least got two of those lizards now that golden colored column he's gonna die so let's see we have to aim for that corner right over there actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take off some of my armor at least and put my rear ring of sacrifice on all right here we go round two That's our corner. We have to carefully look at all these snowflakes. Oh yeah, I made it. Wow. Oh wow, I almost fell off. See, this is exactly... Oh my god, and the slipperiness. Yeah. Are you tired? Oh, You fool. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like, this area is just... Yeah. Okay, and now from here, we gonna have to run on straight. But anyways, I'm gonna have to explain boss strategies as well to you guys. So, see the scalers. He can do sheer physical damage. And on top of that, he is also able to do curse damage as well. So, what we have to do is we have to stay behind him. That's the very first, uh, very first technique. Now, we have to bait out his crystal breath, his uh, other uh, breath where he will try to like summon spikes right in front of us and if those spikes hit they will do physical damage but there is also his misty uh, crystal breath where if he does that that breath will do physical damage as well as uh, curse damage to you as well and he has his tail attacks and the first attack is his tail slam downs now he has three tails now he will slam all of his his three tails down into the ground pounding them again and again and if they connect they'll do a lot of damage then he has his tail swipe attacks uh, which can uh, if they connect they'll do a lot of damage as well uh, then there is his crystal explosion uh, his most deadly move that we absolutely have to watch out for uh, if we see him curl up run for we have to run for the hills uh, create as much distance between us and him as possible because it's gonna be like a really huge explosion so yeah these are the attacks that we have to watch out for and now i'm just gonna like a uh, fast forward it from here on out because we have to use a lot of prism stones <gasps> oh no, I almost fell off. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Not again. Not again. But anyways, we were able to... Uh, what's it called? Retain our souls because we had a rare ring of sacrifice on. And now we have no more rare ring of sacrifices. Actually, I do have one. So anyways, I'm gonna fast forward everything from here on out to the point where we died.
And we got the final crystal desert. So there was a pro to dying in this area about three times, I guess. So right now we have to make a way back to where we died. Uh, this time I'm not going to be using prism stones. I'm going to be using snowflakes. So let's see how well that goes. I have absolutely no idea where I have to go. I'm assuming right in front of us. I'm just going to believe in myself and just keep heading straight i'm not gonna die actually you have to go straight i just made it a bit more complicated than it had to be i'm such a dumb ass i know guys i'm sorry so yeah this is all you had to do and now we're gonna make our way towards here to grab a soul item please don't get aggroed there we go and now all that's left in this episode is the boss fight so let's go and fight the boss because most of the bullshit has been done and dealt with. Do I need something else? Actually, I don't. I don't think so. I don't know why I put a repair powder on. Alright, now there are going to be clam peoples in this area who will drop purging stones after we kill them. So get ready. It is highly recommended that we aggro them one by one. The first one is going to be here. They have really low poise. And as you guys can see, they hit really hard. Drop something, drop something, drop something, please. You bitch. Look at that stamina damage. Just get behind them and start swinging. Did you drop something? Oh, you did. Twinkling Titanite, thank you. Now, f three more. Oh no, I aggroed like two of them all at once. I'm gonna use Fire Surge. How did he hurt me? Wow. See? They will hit really hard. And he, she is just about to kill me. You really had to do that, didn't you? And now you gonna die. And we are at 15 assist flasks already. So we cannot take any more risks. Alright. Now you. Come over here. Down you both go. And now for the boss fight. Now we have to break his heart first as well, which is right in front of us. So if we do not break that, we cannot deal any damage to Seath. So yeah, let's go. And I'm gonna equip my... Oh my god, this armor actually looks insane. Okay. So as our oh no, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Now it's gonna stun him for a couple of seconds. And then we are gonna bait his breath attacks. That was the normal roar. Just get behind him. Behind him is the safest spot. 
until he decides to do his uh, what's it called tail swipes and yeah of course you have to turn there you go I'm gonna actually try to cut his tail off because that is a weapon As soon as he starts swiping his tail, just block. And roll out of the way. See, look at that damage. Let him turn, heal on up. Bait his attack, breath attacks. Then just run behind him. Try to chop his tail off. I did not mean to do a kick, bro. Now he's doing his tail swipes. Let him turn around. Bait his breath attack. Come on, do something. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we have to kind of do it over and over and over again. Just stay calm. Try to get behind him. Bait his attacks out again. Come on, do something, bro. Do something. There we go. <coughs> So yeah, this is gonna take a while because I'm trying to chop his tail off. If you guys don't want to chop his tail off, you guys can just go ahead and murder him. For all I care. But I'm actually gonna try to chop his tail off. Come on! Oh yeah, there we go. And now, boy, you gonna die. You gonna die. Now nah, boy, you gon' die. Come on, do something. Do something, boy. Too late. Oh shit. Oh shit. I should know what. It's just better if I use this. Kids, do not try to experiment right now in the middle of the fight. Instead, just go ham. This is the deadliest attack. I did not mean to get trapped in the middle of that. So yeah, you can basically just poise through it by SS flasking. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And as soon as I kill him, I'm gonna equip my symbol of every son to maximize my soul gain output. How many souls did I get? Hoshite Kudasai, Dak Souls Song, 72,000. So, yeah. And on top of that, we were able to chop his tail off. And now we are gonna hover bone out of here to Firelink Shrine. Yay, I'm so hyped. Let me unequip my symbol of avarice. Alright. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm just too excited right now. There we go. Like, I know we died three times to gravity in this episode, but it was supposed to happen because, I mean, come on. What am I supposed to do against, like, a invisible paths? Even though, even though I've played this game like 12 or 13 times, I swear to God, that area, that path, those invisible paths are just something else out of this world. So let me see if I can level on up. How many souls do I have? Actually, you know what? Let me just first go and talk to the firekeeper. I don't care if this episode or the previous one were longer than 30 minutes because they're supposed to. So yeah, there we go. Now we have a plus 5 S flask.
And now, let's level on up. And see what we're capable of. Gonna use every single soul item in my inventory. Okay, there we go. Let's see. 39. Hmm. And we also could get 5 slots out of it. I think my health pool is enough as of now. One more uh, spell slot does sound interesting. So I'm just gonna go with that. There we go. And on top of that, we even have 34,942 souls on... Uh, so we are just gonna go to Blight Town in the next episode and then from there we are gonna head to uh, what's it called to where the Witch of Isolith resides so yeah thank you guys for watching if you watched this episode till now I know we died a couple of times in this episode please forgive me please I really uh, am sorry about that I did not mean to but anyways I'll see you guys next time please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if I missed an item please do let me know in the comment sections down below I'll see you next time bye bye